morning guys, another edition of ASFN Splash brought to you by Dawa King Fisher. And I'm standing with a Azure Pro 15 foot 3 piece in my hand, the grinder rod. What a baby this is, a long distance casting rod. And today we've orchestrated a nice competition for all the guys here at Mazeppa and I think we can expect about 40 people maybe. There's already 20 on the rocks and the comp starts in a half an hour. It's half past five now. Um, so yeah, we made a little comp yesterday. I couldn't decide who to give it to yesterday. There were too many anglers. Um, so we thought of having a little competition and the biggest edible will, will, will win the Azure Pro 15 foot and be walking away with this fantastic rod. So yeah, I think it's going to be exciting. I think we might see some really good fish. It's the first time in three days that the sea is really settled. It's looking very nice. I think we can expect some, some uh, Gary and maybe some Punsies, maybe some bigger blacktail, maybe a cob or two. Uh, we'll see what the guys manage to scratch out today. I think it's going to be an awesome day. It's a little bit cold. There was a little bit of rain on the way here, but we'll see how that turns out. So. Uh, we'll, we'll take you with us through today and show you all the fish and then the giveaway of the Zua Pro 15 foot. The morning started off with a lot of energy. Ashil Tularam really showed enthusiasm, fishing very hard and was the first to get stuck into a gary. Unfortunately this didn't turn out in his favour and the hook actually broke on the popper. In between there were some shark anglers getting stuck into some bigger teeth. This competition however was only for edible fish. After that things got rather quiet and no other chases on the plugs. Bass quickly switched to bait, fishing for any possible editors, close inshore in the working water. This however was quite the challenge with not a lot of fish biting. Contrary to what was expected of today. As with most competitions, you can see the despondency coming through as we reach closer to the end. However, some anglers just get more energy in getting fish. Mark Louch was the first angler to get stuck into a worthwhile edible fish. At this stage, everyone just got excited that someone's actually hooking a fish. What an awesome catch, Mark. A white muscle cracker on such a light outfit. I need this rod that's on the competition that's going on here. These Durban guys rule. Yeah. Knocking, 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 nothing there in the next minute. Oh. Yeah, really, really great fight. It's cold, north wind's blowing. You're catching fish, you still stay. Thanks so much. This beautiful silver steel brass, also known as a brusher or white muscle cracker, measured in at 60 centimeters. Mark was on the board in a strong position. But there was still some time left for the other anglers to catch up to him. Young spotted Grunter was welcomed by one of the other anglers. This young Grunter, however, wasn't long enough to catch up. On the other side of the island, a raggy started playing maestro with one of the anglers. Now for those of you who visited Mazeppa Bay before, know the island can be quite tricky to get your fish out on the beach. And what a dance it can be. Well worth the dance though if you land such prize fish. This worthy maestro was quite keen in showing off its complexion. And as always, a safe release to conduct another beautiful song on another day. Back in the competition and on the right hand side of the island, Hashil Tularam was quick to respond with yet another good edible fish. Clearly shows that hard work and persistence does pay off. For these white muscle crackers, the light tackle proves to be such an awesome challenge. Now just holding the breath that this beats the 60 centimeters of Mark's muscle cracker. And Lovely fish. Hey. Very After exciting. losing the garrick this morning. After losing my garrick this morning, this certainly has made up for the loss. Excellent fish, great fight, a nice light tackle. Really enjoyed it. Very sad to say that this muscle cracker was a mere three centimeters short of Mark's muscle cracker. The proud new owner 
of the Azure Pro 15 foot Mark Louch and a Shield Tillera fishing a great competition and just short of taking the rod but also walking away with some Daiwa J Ray. Congratulations to both anglers for a morning well fished courtesy of Daiwa and Kingfisher.